Hi everybody, I'd just like to show a couple of verses in Scripture or read a couple of verses in Scripture in the King James Bible that show uh, when people, Christians say to you, uh, no man knows the day of the hour, reading from Matthew 24 verse 30, uh, 36, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. And they quote that Scripture as... Uh, the one and all scripture, like that's probably the only scripture they know in regards to Bible prophecy, as uh, you know, you can't talk about this subject. This subject is taboo, and that if you say anything about this subject, the end times, you're a date setter, a date setter, a rapture date setter. Oh boy, the devil has got into people's minds in regards to this. Putting Christians against Christians, only because there are too many Christians out there, in my mind, my opinion, don't know anything about this Bible. They don't know the scriptures themselves. They can't read other than what was quoted to them on Sunday morning by their pastor. So, that scripture, uh, if you go through and you find, look for all the times in the scriptures in the, the New Testament where it says, um, it gives you more information in regards to that verse. Talking about uh, specifically this. Verse 42 of chapter 24, Matthew. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. Again. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, he would have watched, and he would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Verse 50. The Lord of that servant shall... Come in a day, in a day, the Daniel prophecies of day, days, in a day when he looketh not for him, in an hour that he is not aware of. Huh, the Son of Man is going to come back for some people in a day when he looketh, when they look not for him, and in an hour they are not aware of. Now let's read Revelation chapter 3, verse 3. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. So it's all about repenting, making sure that you're right before God, before this event occurs. If therefore thou shalt not watch. So there's a clear distinction between those who are watching for the days of the Lord's return, and those who are not I will come on thee as a thief. Why? Because you weren't watching. You didn't know what hour or day he was going to come upon you, or roughly the time. And he does come as a thief as a night. Thief, thief, yeah. Does come as a thief in the night. So continuing on, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Right, so there's days, hours, weeks mentioned in the book of Daniel and the New Testament. And uh, we're supposed to know the days of Daniel. And I hope this channel has brought to people's minds as I've been able to be privileged enough to see it myself and then just report on what I've seen and put it on YouTube. Uh, the breakdowns of the blood red moons, the breakdowns of the days of Daniel's prophecy and how it all relates back to Obama and the Pope. So let's just finish on that. Revelation chapter 3 verse 3. Remember thou hast thou how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thanks for listening.